Hi guys, Mr. Wilson here and this is the video on standard form. So there's three main skills of standard form. The first one is to write a number in standard form and this can be a relatively large number or a relatively small number. But essentially the first number that we write down has to be between 1 and 10. So 58 obviously is bigger than that so what we're looking for is 5.8. If we put the point here, that would be less than 1, so it has to be more than 1, but less than 10. And standard form always has a times and a 10. So we're saying to ourselves, 5.8 times 10, how many times, is 58,000. So if the point is here, we have to times it by 10, 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So we say 5.8 times 10, 4 times, is the same as 58,000. So in this one, the decimal point has to be between the 2 and the 7 to make it between 1 and 10. But if there are any other numbers other than 0, we have to include it. So we don't include the zeros, basically. So if the points go in here, we're timesing it by 10, 1, 2, 3, 4 times again to get back to the original number. Now, if it's a small number, the decimal point has to go somewhere to make it between 1 and 10, so it has to be 8. But this is the bit that starts to confuse people. We're times in by 10, which normally means this number will therefore get bigger. And I'm going to explain it a little bit later, but what we actually do, to show that we're actually dividing, we put a minus. And depending on how well you've understood indices and reciprocals, this will make sense later on. But we have to get from here back to here. So we're dividing it by 10, 1, 2, 3, 4 times. And that is the, su the same. Times by 10 to the minus 4 is the same as dividing by 10 4 times. But in standard form, we always write it like this. So for this one, it has to be between here to make 1. So it's 5.7 times 10, because standard form always is times 10. We needed to get it back to 1, 2, 3 places. So it's minus 3. So that's how you write numbers into standard form. Now let's take a look at writing standard form as ordinary numbers. So it's 5.8 times 10 three times. So that's once to get to 58, twice, three times. The common misconception here is they put 58 with three zeros, but it's times them by 10 three times. Now, here I'm going to attempt to explain why this means divide by 10. So, from the indices video, I showed you that 10 to the minus 5 is the same as this. So, 4.9 times this can be written as 4.9 times this. And this is a fraction now, so if I make this a fraction, times the tops, times the bottoms. So, 1 lot of 10 to the 5 is 10 to the 5. So, it's the same as doing 4.9 divided by 10 five times. So that's what we're doing. It's 4.9, so dividing it by 10 five times. So it's going to go once, twice, three, four, five. So it's going to be there. So it's going to be 0. Point, I'm going to just add the placeholders in. So 0. 0.000049. Always double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you can see here I've moved the points because I understand the numbers move. I just find it a lot easier to move the points. So that's fine. Now what they can ask you to do also is to multiply numbers that are in standard form. Now they do this quite often to, to show that this is a number and this is a number. But a lot of students get this confused with expanding quadratics. This is not an expanding quadratic question because this is just one number times by another single number. Expanding quadratics is when you have two terms multiplied by two terms. So basically two different things. And this is only one number, this is only one number. Now, with multiplication you can do it in any order. So I like to write it like this when I first start off. And it makes it now a much easier problem. So 3 times 2 is 6. And now we're timesing indices by the same base value so we can add the powers. So that's why I've got you to learn indices first because it overlaps into this topic here. 
So there we go. The number is between 1 and 10, so I'm happy. And there we have it. Now, this one is divide. So I'm going to do, like I did here, I did 3 times 2. So I'm going to do 6 divided by 3 is 2. Always times 10. And now we've got a negative 5, but we're taking away, because I'm looking at this bit here now. I'm timesing by the same base value of 10, so I can just subtract the powers because we're dividing. So minus 5 take away 2 is minus 7. So they will either say leave your answer in standard form or they're writing the number out in full. So I would do it in standard form first and this one will be 0 0.6 zeros and then a 2. Now if this is a calculator paper they quite often just ask you to type it in. They could make it a little bit more confusing but I'm just going to show you how to type in this whole thing. So I'd be typing in 5.2 and it's probably right on the bottom row near your equals it will either look like this the new calculators tend to make it really obvious which is the button um, the older ones it might say this or even this so all these buttons are your standard form buttons basically so to do 5.2 times 10 to the power of 4 you just do 5.2 this button and then 4 now it probably won't look like this, it would just be a big 4 It might, so it doesn't look like it but that's actually what you're doing so 5.2 your standard form button 4 times, so that's the next button 3.68 again your standard form button so I'm just going to do it this one and then there'll be another button to get your negative which on my calculator looks like this it could be a plus stroke minus like so and then 2 and then hit equals and you will get your answer for that so on a calculator you must know your standard form buttons and your negative button and you just write down the answer there.